Welcome guys to today's class. In today's video, we want to discuss another important experiment in physics practical and that is experiment on cantilever. This experiment is related to that experiment in bending moment. Experiment on bending moment is related to experiment on cantilever. That means as we embark on this experiment, you will see that it applies the principle of bending the principle of depression okay so it's important to note that this experiment will be of two types the one involving the use of principle of bending or depression and the one that make use of what oscillations okay okay it has the objective to determine the young modulus of a meter rule the meter rule we talk about is that 100 centimeter rule, the one you make use of in the lab. Apparatus are two meter rules, G clamp, rotor stand, sets of waist, a vernier caliper, and a pointer. That means we need two meter rule to embark on this experiment. Now, look at the diagram. Okay, use a G clamp to clamp a meter rule. You take one of the meter rule, clamp it with G clamp. Look at the G clamp, clamping it. Such that about 75 cl of the meter rule is projected. Wow. That means, that means here is zero. So from here to here will be 75 cl. That means about 25 cm will be inside here about 25 cm will be from here to here okay so from here to here will be 75 cm okay measure the distance of the meter rule above the ground using the second meter rule and record this value as po now you keep another meter rule the second one vertically this start from zero you measure this distance from zero to what? To this point. Measure the height of this meter rule from the ground. Call it your PO. Okay? When you call it your PO, then hang a mass M equals to 100 gram at 5 cm mark from the free end of the meter rule. Look at the free end of the meter rule. So calculate 0.5 cm and put your what mass on it. Put your mass on it. Calculate from here to here is 5 cm. Put your mass on it. So when you put the mass on it, something will happen. That mass, it has weight. And so it will try to what? Depress or bend the metal. Rule. That is where the principle of bending or principle of depression comes in. If you get a higher young modulus, it means that that metal rule is very stiff. So the young modulus have a direct relationship with how stiff and how flexible a metal rule is. Look at what I am saying. Look at the metal rule. If I insert a mass on this metal rule, if this metal rule is very stiff, the way it will bend will not be the same with the way the one that is flexible will bend. I don't know if you are getting what I'm saying. There is an amount of mass I will, I will keep on this metal rule, it will break it if it is very stiff. But if it is very flexible, there is whenever I put mass here, it will just be bending like broom, like flexible bloom. Are you getting it? It will just be bending like flexible broom, so to speak. So, and when you remove the mass, it will go up. Are you getting it? But when you are dealing with stiff metal rule, when you bend, try to bend it, it can break. Are you getting it? So, how stiff a metal rule is, is dependent on what value of young modulus. So, young modulus is a way of determining quantitatively how stiff or flexible a metal or any instrument so to speak is 
So the higher the stiffness, the higher the Moyong modulus, so to speak. Okay. And so we are applying this principle of bending to see how flexible, how stiff the metal rule is. And so from what we get, we will be able to check our answer. So this experiment, applying the principle of bending is this. Then applying the principle of oscillation means that this metal rule will what? Keep it to oscillate. It will just be moving up and down. Are you getting it? Uh, so it depends on how you stretch it. If you stretch it too high, it will move as fast as possible. If you stretch it small, at the small angle, it will be moving small, small. So that you will not miss, I mean, you will not make mistake. But while trying to pause your stopwatch, you spot, you pause it below the time or above the time, give or above the number of oscillation given. So that is one. So when we hang M equals 100 gram, this will depress or bend. We take the watts distance from the ground to it. We call it our P. Then we subtract P, O, and P to get our Y. That is how to perform it live and direct in the laboratory. Then, record the difference between P, O, and P. I've talked about it. When you record the difference, you call it your Y. Then repeat this experiment with masses 200 gram, 300 gram, 400 gram, 500 gram, and tablet your readings. Yes. Now, the essence of this experiment I'm performing here is for us to see how we can perform this without stressing ourselves, setting up apparatus. So the only thing I will need in this experiment is to measure from zero to what? To the PO, to note my PO. Once I note my PO, the whole thing is sorted out. I can continue what I'm to do. Okay, measure the breadth, the thickness of the metal using vernier caliper. Wow, we have to use a vernier caliper to measure the breadth. Breadth means from here to here, and the thickness means from up to down. That's how thick the metal is. Now, that is about the first one. So, we'll see, see how to work, do the manipulation without wasting our time. We'll get your answer. Set up the experiment again. We want to see the another experiment. This time, set the mass M equal to 100 gram into oscillation. When you put the mass M, you what? When I put the mass M here, are you getting it? The metal is clamped. I put the mass M. So what I will now do is that what? I will keep it to be in oscillation. It will be counting. I'll be counting. One, two, three, four, five, six. And keep my stopwatch. Are you getting it? So, I am to get for 10 complete oscillations. Yes, when I get to the number 10 oscillation, I'll stop. So, getting to 9, I'm about to stop. Record the time T of the oscillation. Repeat this experiment for M200, 300. So for 200, when you immerse it, you set it on it, oscillation again. Please ensure that you don't stress it too, stretch it too much. If you stretch it too much, it will move as fast as possible. And you may not be able to get your time oscillation accurately. So stretch it very small at a very small. And that means this is one of the precautions you have to say that I... Here was taken while stretching the, or bending the metal rule by ensuring I bend it at a very small angle to minimize error. Are you getting it? So when you say what you did, try to tell them how you did it and why you did it. Here was taken while bending the what metal rule by ensuring that it is bent at a very small angle so as to minimize error. Okay. That is one of the precautions you will say or you write in this experiment. Repeat this experiment for this. Okay. So, after we do this experiment, we plot a graph of M against Y and obtain E slope. Plot a graph of M against T square and obtain E slope. 
deduce the value of young modulus of a from the two graphs. Yes. So that is what we have to check up now. Now to watch the full video, click the Chidons Academy Practicals. The Chidons Academy Practicals. See on YouTube. Click the Chidons Academy Practical so that you enjoy. As you click it, feel free to like the video, comment, share, and lastly, which you should not forget, please don't forget to click subscribe as you are about to watch the video. See us in this channel, the Chidons Academy Practical, so that you see the full video and enjoy. Thank you.